Our focus in here is again finding the limit of trigonometric function. Okay. Now one of our problem is it says in here find the limit of cosine theta minus one over theta as your theta is approaching zero. Now so that you will notice when we make use of the direct substitution, shall we say we are going to use the direct substitution in here. We have now the cosine, cosine theta, which is the same as zero, which is the same as zero, minus one. And uh, of course, that is the same as theta is zero. Now it will give you now a result of one minus 1 so cosine 0 is 1 minus 1 over 0 so it will give you a result which is the same as 0 over 0 which is an indeterminate okay indeterminate number meaning to say if it is indeterminate there will always be the there will always be the uh, limit but uh, of course we need to look into other processes in looking for the limit of this problem okay so if that is undefined then the limit does not exist but because it is indeterminate there is the limit okay so how is that now in here we make use of the method of conjugation or the rationalization method so we think of a number uh, that is to multiply in here but it will never change the problem definitely that is one okay so let's try to have the limit the limit of uh, we have in here cosine cosine theta minus one over theta as your theta is approaching approaching zero now what would be our multiplier again as i said one okay our multiplier is one but remember remember our one must be defined okay must be defined so what is the uh, definition of our one in here the definition of our one in here will be the conjugate of the numerator what is the conjugate that is the same as uh, cosine okay cosine theta plus 1 over cosine theta plus 1 so that is our definition for the 1 so meaning to say uh, because our multiplier is 1 we change that 1 to this uh, this one using uh, by using it as our by using this one to rationalize this problem so what how is that that is the same as saying uh, multiplied by cosine cosine theta plus 1 over cosine theta plus 1 so actually we are having the idea of rationalization method using the conjugate of the uh, numerator now having said that one we are now uh, going to multiply so multiply numerator to numerator denominator to denominator but notice notice that in our numerator in our numerator that is actually the difference of two perfect square which is the same as cosine squared okay cosine squared theta minus one squared or minus minus one well of course the denominator well, let's try first to maintain uh, in their uh, product form okay so theta multiplied by the denominator that is the same as cosine theta plus plus one definitely your limit is uh, the limit your theta is approaching zero okay it is approaching zero but uh, notice that uh, in our numerator the resulting statement for our numerator is actually a result of uh, pythagorean theorem or trigonometric pythagorean identities 
which is uh, you have to remember that in our Pythagorean theorem of the trigonometric identities the uh, uh, sine squared sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta results to 1 okay again remember this equation so so remember note okay let's try to write it here. note and note again another note or remember okay so notice that in here when we are going to uh, when we are going to bring out the numerator in here we have we have sine okay we have, we have to make ramification of this sine squared theta is equal to negative cosine cosine squared theta plus plus one trans uh, that is we have in here the transmutation okay or uh, transpose the cosine so it will become negative now but notice that uh, our cosine in here is negative but in here that is positive same true with the uh, one in here positive that is negative so what are we going to do what are we going to do with this resulting uh, resulting statement for sine squared theta we have to divide both sides okay divide both sides by what by negative negative one now what is our purpose so that we will make this one be the same as in our numerator so if we're going to divide this one we can have now this statement uh, sine squared theta divided by negative one we have negative negative sine squared theta okay is equal to a negative cosine squared theta divided by negative one it will become now cosine squared theta now what about this one positive one divided by negative one it will give you negative negative one notice that upon the upon the division of negative one this statement now is the same as our numerator so meaning to say by substitution method okay by substitution method we can now have a new statement saying the limit of by substitution what are we going to use negative sine squared theta the limit of by substitution method we can have now the limit of negative sine squared theta so we replace this one uh, with its uh, definition what is the definition of this one Na negative sine squared theta as you can see it is but the same okay this statement is the same with this okay let's try to make an arrow so that you can uh, identify so by substitution we can have now new statement the limit of negative sine squared theta over the same okay over uh, theta the product of theta multiplied by cosine cosine theta plus one okay cosine theta plus one definitely as your theta as your theta is approaching zero still we cannot uh, still uh, uh, have the direct substitution in here so that you will notice again in this statement we have to remember again that uh, in one of the theorem the limit of sine theta over theta as your theta is approaching zero is the same as one so with this we can we can make ramification of this one again to at least bring out this theorem so as you can see the numerator is in a product form the denominator is in a product form 
And so that with that, we can have now the factoring, okay? We can factor that one. So the limit, as your theta is approaching zero, now what are the factor? The factor now is negative, negative one multiplied by sine, sine theta multiplied by sine theta okay multiplied by sine theta definitely over uh, theta uh, multiplied by that is the same as that is the same as cosine uh, theta plus 1 okay so those are the factor of the numerator now with that we can separate again them by factoring okay so we can have we can factor out this one by saying negative negative one how about in here we have the limit times the limit okay we have the limit of we have the limit of uh, sine and we have the limit of sine theta we factor out negative one so limit of sine theta over theta over theta as it approaches as approach as uh, your theta is approaching zero now multiplied by multiplied by another one sine theta over cosine theta plus one okay so we have in here the equation now notice that uh, we have this statement. This statement now says that this is the same as this note. So with that, we can say now that we have in here another statement saying negative 1. The result of this one is multiplied by, the result is 1. Okay. And of course, we can have the direct substitution now in here. That is the same as uh, that is the same as sine, sine, uh, <coughs> sine, sine zero is the same as zero. Sine zero is the same as zero. Over uh, substitute this one, cosine zero is. 1 plus 1 so notice the result is what negative 1 multiplied by negative 1 that is negative 1 multiplied by 0 the result is 0 over 2 now dividing that one the result is 0 so that is the that is the uh, limit of our problem so we can say now we can say now that uh, the limit the limit yeah the limit of cosine cosine theta minus 1 over theta minus theta as your theta is approaching 0 is what 0 okay so meaning 0 the result will be zero so notice that uh, when we had when we had the result which is zero there are so many things that we need to consider okay so there are so many things that we need to consider one uh, think of this that uh, we need to uh, we need to think we need to uh, rationalize the problem by getting the conjugate of our of our numerator and so how are we going to rationalize you use the uh, the conjugate of this one as our multiplier okay so meaning to say why do we multiply uh, so that uh, of course we can reduce or we can change the uh, problem in terms of sign okay so our multiplier is always the conjugate over the conjugate 
or that is the same as 1 so that it will not change the problem. Now after that one, notice that we have now in here the uh, numerator that is the same as uh, the result of uh, Pythagorean identities of trigonometric function which is coming from this statement. Okay, so that with that, with that we make ramification of this Pythagorean identities and so bring out this numerator cosine squared theta minus 1 by having this statement okay negative sine squared theta is the same as cosine squared theta minus 1 which is the same as in here with that by uh, by substitution okay by sub substitution we change we change the cosine squared theta minus 1 to negative sine squared theta but uh, again notice that this is to be uh, to be factored okay why because if we do not factor this one it will result again to as I said as I said uh, indeterminate result so we apply the one of the theorem that state that the limit of sine theta over theta as your theta is equal to uh, approaches zero is the same as one so having said that one uh, we factor this one so that we will bring out okay, we will bring out this theorem so factoring negative sine squared theta is the same as negative one sine is sine theta multiplied by sine theta definitely the denominator will always be the same with that we factor out separately so we factor out one in here negative one as one of the property of the uh, limit we can factor out so how about in here we can we can have the statement the limit of sine theta over theta as your theta is approaching zero which is the same as that one so that it will result to one how about the other factor we have the in here sine theta over cosine theta plus one we can have the direct substitution now in here so when we substitute this one sine theta into sine zero it will give you zero how about this one cosine theta which is theta is zero that is co that is one plus one so it will give you zero over two so dividing it the result will be zero and so we can establish now that the limit of the cosine theta minus one over theta as your theta is approaching zero is the same as zero i hope you understand the process and thank you so much uh, again please uh, do not uh, forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that uh, you will always be notified should there be any problem or any video lesson that is being posted thank you and more power Again, we have in here the uh, problem uh, that is the same as the limit of the product of theta sine theta over tangent squared theta as your theta is approaching zero. Now, how are we going to solve for the limit of this one? Now, notice that we have in here tangent and sine. Now, remember that uh, in the pre-calculus, we stated that uh, we always try to convert or transform the tangent in terms of cosine or sine okay so with that we can have the equation by saying the limit as your theta is approaching zero of theta sine theta is the same as is the same as we convert this one into what uh, sine and cosine so this is the same as this is the same as sine squared okay sine squared theta over cosine squared theta so that is the converted form of that one now having said that one we are now uh, we can continue now our ramification of the problem we can have now the next statement saying the limit as your theta is approaching zero 
will give you a result. Okay, so get the reciprocal of this one and proceed to multiplication. So that is the same as theta sine theta multiplied by the reciprocal of this one. That is the same as uh, cosine cosine squared theta over sine squared theta. Okay our sine is squared theta now with this now we can have now the uh, multiplication or shall we say the division we can have the division okay by how we can have again the other statement let's try to start here the limit as your theta is approaching zero we can have the statement by saying uh, theta okay theta sine theta over over sine theta multiplied by sine theta we can have the one okay so of course that is the same as multiplied by cosine squared theta now notice that uh, one of the statement sine is one can cancel out can be canceled out and so we can have now the statement the limit as theta is approaching zero, we can have now the statement theta okay, over sine theta. Okay. And of course, we have now in here cosine cosine squared theta now with that we can have another factoring so we can factor this one so by saying to uh, bring out the limit that states that uh, the limit of uh, theta over sine over sine theta as your theta is approaching zero will always give you one so because of this we can we have to factor these things this one okay so we can have now this statement saying the limit of theta over sine theta as your theta is approaching zero okay or shall we say cosine okay cosine is squared theta okay so with that, notice that uh, uh, if we are going to, oh, tiga, tiga. yes, yes. Notice that if we are going to have now the result of this one, of this one, that would be the same as one, and the limit of cosine, cosine squared theta. Okay, the limit of cosine squared theta multiplied by multiplied by one. Okay, so the limit of cosine squared theta by substitution cosine squared uh, theta, which is theta is zero, that is the same as one. So the result will always be one. One multiplied by one is one. Okay, so again. So we can say now, we can say now that uh, the limit, okay, we can say now that the limit of of theta sine theta over tangent squared theta, as your theta is approaching approaching zero, will be one. So I hope. 
you got the procedure of uh, having the result of this problem. Thank you. And